Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is another video for my journey to the cybersecurity program at WGU. So one of the classes you have to take is C844, Emerging Technologies in Cybersecurity. So I thought this class was pretty easy. I mean, it can be done on two days or so. So let's get started. So this class mainly focuses on security and vulnerabilities. So if you have the Security Plus, yeah, that's also going to be helpful. So for most of this class, you'll be focusing on vulnerabilities, mitigation, risk assessment, and so forth. So some of the main things to focus on are network weaknesses, ports, protocols, BYOD, an MDM, and an enterprise environment. So if any of those things sounds foreign to you, then you may need to do some research because that's what you'll be writing about. So for task one, you'll be focusing on ZenMap and Wireshark. Pretty much you'll run a scan and you'll try to find vulnerabilities and you'll be presented with uh, directions on what to do for that. So for me, what I did was I had a... I had a couple hosts and I was trying to find vulnerabilities for each one and then determine like which one to mitigate and which one has vulnerabilities and so forth. So I think you only need to find two to three vulnerabilities and provide description on like what's going on, like what, like what the vulnerability is and go from there. And that was for ZenMap. For the Wireshark section, two things I would recommend to focus on will be FTP and Telnet. So if you focus on those two, you can provide details on why these protocols are problematic. So those are two things to remember. As for task two, this one is a little bit easier than task one because you'll be provided with a case study and you want to go over the case study, find the vulnerabilities, provide mitigation steps, preventive measures, and solutions. So for task two, you'd want to focus on NIST publications. So for anyone that's not familiar with that, you will be going to this website right here, NIST website. And you'll be looking for certain publications that you want to incorporate and you in your paper. So some of the most well known are like the SOX, um, Electronic Privacy Act, uh, GLBA, and so forth. So let's say here. So if I were to search for a pub publication, let's see, 800, 124. So this, this is a publication here, 800, 124, it's focused on cell phone and PDA security as you can see here. So you definitely want to go to this website, look for publications and incorporate them in your papers because that's considered part of the source and you want to also include laws and regulations and industry best practices. So as you can see here, I mean, I completed this on the 29, I got it back pretty quick. And this one, I completed that on the second, I got it back pretty quick. So, that's pretty much it. I mean, like I said, for anyone that has a security plus, this is definitely a refresher because a lot of vulnerabilities, weaknesses, those are things that you should already be familiar with. And some of the stuff could be like, why is a port open and why you should not have open ports or like why you need to have, um, like what are the risks when it comes to like BYOD or stuff like that. So that's pretty much what you'll be talking about for this course it's pretty straightforward so yeah that's pretty much it so if you guys have any questions i'll be more than happy to answer your questions and yeah so i'll see you guys next time with my next courses